The question you typically have is how do I choose a chart type? Now there are four categories of questions which can help you decide which chart types to choose. Uh, let's go through these four categories. Uh, relation type, relationship type question, a distribution type question or a class of questions around distribution, composition and comparison. I'll go through each of them uh, one by one to explain uh, the different chart types. Okay, so when you have a relationship type uh, question, you're trying to find out a relationship between two data points. So here I have weight and height and this chart is called a scatter plot. Uh, the good news here is they've also used um, colors inside it. So the blue is male and the yellow is female. And you can see the difference between male and female in one chart. The other chart is a bubble plot. The size of the bubble denotes the uh, impact that a data element has. So here the question is, which countries receive the most Michelin stars each year and uh, France has received the most amount here because the size of the bubble is pretty high uh, and Japan comes probably pretty close at 729 Michelin stars right so it's a good it is a good chart type to denote relationship now the second uh, type is distribution so uh, distribution you can still use a scatter plot here and uh, this is plotted against a year or years. So you know there's a cluster of points happening here. They're all coming together. So you'll see that during the time 1950 or the period 1950 or the year 1950, you have a lot of houses uh, built between that price range of $400,000. Uh, is it $4 million? Uh, no, it's $400,000 to $600,000, right? So that's a good distribution chart, scatter plot. The other one is a histogram, and I've used this with a little more information here. So this is a histogram of whale sightings uh, for a period of 50 days, the first 50 days, right? So as you see here, the frequency of whale sightings between the 10 to 20 day period is pretty high, and this is very good for uh, that kind of um, you know, visual where you have to see a distribution of information over a period of time. Okay, so it's a histogram there. The next chart type, let's go to the next one, or the next category of question is composition. And typically, the question you ask here is where does this part fall under within a larger piece of information, right? A larger part of data. So, here I'll start with the pie chart. So, you'll see 27% time spent on swimming within the whole uh, pie, right? The whole time spent. So 27% of my time was spent on swimming. So if you look at other ways to visualize data, you have a stacked column. And if you just scan through this chart, you'll see that the yellow is higher or bigger than the blue area. So, and if you look at the yellow, the legend says it's product D has more, possibly more sales happening than the blue product, which is product A. So it's a great uh, uh, composition uh, chart type. And you have stacked area, pretty similar to the stack column, except that it's, you know, it's area driven. There are more areas and more zigzaggy elements drawn here with colors filled in. So Michelangelo, I'm pretty sure you cannot see this, but this uh, chart, talks about the impact these painters have over a period of years. So Michelangelo's uh, fame reduced around, you know, I, don't know, I guess a span of 20 years after he became famous and then it kind of reduced. I mean, this is just an example, but you get the idea. Same thing with uh, a waterfall chart. Uh, this is a, a high level example of a house purchase budget plan. And it shows you how much money is required to buy the house and how much money is spent after you buy the house, right? So so it's a good composition chart. Uh, let's go to the next one. The next one is uh, comparison. So it's a very, very popular type of uh, questioning you would have is how do you compare, you know, how do you compare uh, two or multiple data points together? My favorite one is typically the table because I'm used to it. Uh, 
and you can compare numbers. And if you put colors like green here, for example, you'll see that this is the sales status. So this is in green, meaning I'm probably doing okay with these three categories of products. Uh, so it's a great way to visualize data. You can use spider charts. Um, spider charts, again, with color makes a little more sense uh, because you can look at this slice, let's say the blue slice, which is uh, pointing to March, and a lot of seeds are planted in that time frame. A lot of seeds are planted during March. So, so that's an example of uh, comparing multiple data points together. Um, and column chart, I'm not going to explain that now. Pretty straightforward. You have uh, a Y axis with numbers on it and categories on the X axis. Uh, this, these three are examples of when you do comparisons with time. So you have time on the X axis, time on the X axis, and time on the X axis. And uh, a line chart uh, pointing out you know, either sales, I think this is sales, yep, this is sales. Same thing, revenue. You know, uh, plotted on the stacked area chart and a stacked column chart with uh, this is a combination of comparison and composition, right? You have comparing multiple things and you're composing it within a stacked column. So that's it for now. Thank you.